Welcome to the Fringe News Bigfoot Update. This week was crowded with all kinds of Bigfoot news and happenings, so let's get right into it, shall we? First up tonight, does Bigfoot live in Ireland? Just today, this video hit the webs and it seems to show something very interesting. Two very young Bigfoot lovers noticed a figure walking the ridge near their home in Ireland. Little did they know there's actually two figures in the video, one at the wood line and one up on the ridge itself. They are moving in somewhat of an unnormal way. It's tough to say in this video, but it could be the best Bigfoot evidence out of Ireland to date. See the description for a link to that video. Next up, it's what appears to be witnesses interviewing about the Florida Skunk Ape. But on further investigation, one learns that this is a trailer for a mockumentary about to don its Dudley head sometime this year. Yes, it's done in humor, but it does kind of reflect the way the general public looks at the crazy world of Bigfoot, so keep an eye out on Troy Kreider's YouTube channel, and his show will come out later on this year. Again, check the description for a link to the video. Now this is what I'd like to see, real videos from real footers from deep in the woods. Camp and Jimmy uploaded this video of him and some friends out really getting into squatching in the woods. Much at the protest of his friend Sam here, the footage hit YouTube and I'm glad it did. Keep on squatching guys. Today Dr. Milgram put up some oldie but goodie Bigfoot photos. If I'm not mistaken, these are from an old edition of the Weekly World News, one of my favorite grocery store rags. They covered many of the old stories like a lumberjack kept as a love slave to a female Bigfoot, and Bigfoot is my love child's father. How can you go wrong? Thanks, Dr. Meldrum. $10 million Bigfoot bounty finally hit the air, and I must say I was actually entertained. Not so much by the science they claim to have behind the show, but just how to see the details unfold on the air. Much like you folks, I really don't know much about what will make it on the air, as the footers I know kept their true to their DNA, their DNA and NDA with Spike TV, and they've been tight-lipped. I can tell you that the team sent home deserved it in my opinion. They knew the rules, they knew what was required if they didn't follow through, so hey, bye-bye. Even Michael Merchant brought something back after rubbing elk shit in his hair, and well, let's face it, people. Crazy is as crazy does, I guess. So far, no one's made much of a fool of themselves, but it'll just give it some time. I'm sure Spike will find a way to make it all look like a joke, just like the rest have. Bigfoot Bounties up on Friday nights on Spike at 10 p.m. on your local channels. Now, Christopher York of the 40 and Slip and the Guys have episode 18 out. The guys talk about the 911 audio from a woman arguing with her boyfriend about aliens while having a gunst in her private parts. They also delve into Bigfoot Bounty, a Bigfoot eating pizza, a rugby ball shaped UFO, and a South African president admits to using witchcraft on white people. So this webcast is uncensored as usual for your pleasure. Check out youtube.com slash the 40 and Slip to listen to the show. Now, don't forget that Wednesday night is podcast night. Come on over and join myself and David Batdorf as we welcome Kirk Sidridson, the author of Cultus, a quickly becoming a must-have Bigfoot novel, while we're discussing the effects that the logging industry might have on Bigfoot environment and habitat. That'll be Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern on youtube.com slash podcast. And finally tonight, check out these pictures from my trip down to the Bigfoot Discovery Museum in Felton, California. I met with Mike Rugg and Tom and the gang over to talk over the current state of the Bigfoot community and just what steps might be able to be taken to get everybody back on the same page. So enjoy the tour and thanks for watching the Fringe News Bigfoot Update 2-2. I'm Reverend Jeff. May the Squatch be with you. Welcome to the Bigfoot Discovery Museum Tour. I'm your tour guide, Reverend Jeff. The Bigfoot Discovery Museum on Highway 9 in Felton, California was my destination this past Sunday. We called over to the museum to ensure they were open, and of course they were, and welcomed us right over to hang out and talk Bigfoot. Upon our arrival, it was like going to the Bigfoot Mecca. For the many people, as the larger-than-life Bigfoot carvings dominated the parking lot. Upon entering the building, you're greeted with an admissions-free viewing to all the local Bigfoot evidence, including track casts, local art, sightings reports, and the vast knowledge that is the staff of the Bigfoot Discovery Museum. I was happily granted an audience with Mike Rugg, the curator of the museum, to have a discussion of the latest Bigfoot hubbub, including the fake dire Bigfoot dummy, the real story behind the Minnesota Iceman, as well as the now famous tooth that was featured during the 2013-14 Finding Bigfoot season of Surf's Up Bigfoot. 
when the cast of Finding Bigfoot spent their day signing autographs and meeting the public for Discovery Days right there at the museum itself. Mike and I, as well as my travel mates Kip Morrill, Justin and Nikki Smia, were treated to some very little known information on the Bigfoot sightings of old as Mike himself had an encounter long before the news stories of Ray Wallace and Roger Pattison. In the hours spent going through the collection and being directly in the area of active Bigfoot sightings was exciting. I even found myself staring out the window as we left the area hoping to catch a glimpse of the mighty creature once more. So from one footer to another, the museum is a must stop in for anyone on the California coast. It's well worth the drive and it is in some of the prettiest country in California. You can check out their website and donate to help keep the project alive at BigfootDiscoveryProject.com and check out the blog and get the address of the phone number of the museum to make sure you know exactly where you're going. Thanks for watching my Bigfoot Discovery Museum tour. I am Reverend Jeff and may the Squatch be with you.